Hey friends, good morning. It's currently Friday morning. It's pretty early. I'm sitting outside of the first estate sale of the day. So today I'm going to do an estate sale shop with me video. There's five or six estate sales that I want to go to that look really good. I saw lots of pictures of clothing, shoes, accessories. So it was kind of hard to narrow down which one I wanted to go to first. But the one I'm sitting outside of has what looks like a lot of vintage designer items. I don't know if prices are going to be crazy, but we'll see. So I'm with my mom. Um, she doesn't like being on camera, so you probably won't see her, but she's a really good shopping partner and we're going to divide and conquer, see what kind of treasures we can find. And like I said, I'm going to bring you along all day. So let's just get into it. So I'm at the sale and this is the designer closet. I haven't gone through my bag yet, but I'm gonna just show you a little bit of what's in this closet and then I'll probably go through my stuff and we'll head on to the next sale. I picked up at the first sale and here are the clothing items the first thing I grabbed was this vintage silk blouse and I really like the polka dot print it's pretty classic and it also has these gold cufflinks down here which I thought was really nice and then also the wide lapel which is a different touch so this is the brand which doesn't really matter like I said vintage and it's silk and then I picked up this sweatshirt I really like picking up the vintage like crew neck pullovers this one did have like a few small spots you can see I couldn't get it out but I will sell it still for just a lower price and it's really cool and cozy and then this is a kimono I love selling kimonos and I've found this brand before it's band of gypsies they sell it sometimes at urban outfitters but it does pretty well and I like the colors I thought this would do well for fall and then on to sweaters which is something I've really been focusing on I know I've mentioned that in a lot of videos and this first style is a poncho which I think is great because it can work for a variety of sizes it's a one size type of style 
I had never heard of this brand, Hibernation. It's made in the USA. Um, I think it could potentially be vintage, and it's just a really nice material. It has pockets, so I picked that up. Um, the next two, I believe, are vintage, and they're by the same brand or designer, Sarah Arizona. They're one size, just really nice oversized tunic sweaters, so I like these because you could wear them with leggings or jeans, and that one's like a tunic um, boat neck, and this one is a turtleneck style in a lighter color. And then this was totally up my alley. So this was in the women's closet. It's a men's Abercrombie and Fitch vintage sweater. It's a size large, really nice heavyweight cotton. And I've been listing these as women's. I do mention in the description that they're a men's sweater and they're oversized. So um, it's just a style that's pretty popular right now. And then this next jacket really caught my eye. I have never seen anything like this and I had never heard of the brand. So it's this really like fuzzy, almost Chanel striped material, and then the brand is called Sue Blue. It kind of looks like an art to wear type of brand. It's one size, made in the USA, and yeah, it's just an oversized jacket, which I thought was cool. And then I grabbed a couple of caftans or moomoos or whatever you want to call them because I just love them. I think they're so pretty and unique, and this one is a really nice gauzy cotton material. It's striped, very oversized. Um, the brand, honestly, brands don't really matter to me, but that one's called American Climax. And then the next one is this beautiful print. This I actually saw in the picture for the sale and it caught my eye. So it's like a scarf floral print and it's a v-neck and it's this designer for Saks Fifth Avenue. And I did look up this brand and it does seem to have pretty good resale value. So I'll probably price this one a little bit higher, but yeah, I just thought that was really pretty and classic and I grabbed that for clothing. So let me show you the accessories. So here are the accessories that I picked up. She had a ton of amazing accessories. I really liked this lady's style. Some of them were a little expensive for me. Like I saw this stri strawberry rhinestone clutch. It looked like a Judith Lieber, but it was some brand I had never heard of, but it was priced pretty high and I honestly couldn't find any other ones online, so I didn't get that. But I did pick up this clutch, which is a really cool um, evening bag. So it's got this like textured leather and then the top of it has these rhinestone details and the opening is cool. You twist it and that opens the top up. It's by that brand, Elan, and it's lined, and it also has a chain option, so I thought that was a nice evening bag, and I've mentioned this before, but I look for ones that will fit more modern phones, so I like the vintage clutches that are a little bit bigger so people can actually use them. I'll do jewelry next, so this necklace I thought was cool. It's like a collar choker style, and the way it opens is actually behind the like gold detail in the front, so it just kind of opens up like that and you wear it around your neck and I honestly don't know a lot about this piece but I just liked the style of it and I thought it could go with a lot especially because it's such a neutral color. I also picked up this bracelet which I thought was really cool. Um, I need to look a little closer to figure out what type of animal that is but it almost reminds me of like a Kenneth J. Lane if anyone's familiar with that designer. He does a lot of jewelry with animals on it and this one is just a nice black with gold detailing. It opens like that and you can just wear it as a little bangle bracelet. As you can see I found a lot of vintage sunglasses. I actually had found more but some of them were prescription so I only picked up the ones that were not prescription and this first pair um, actually had the case and this is the brand. I am going to put it on the screen, the full name of the brand, because I need to look it up again, but it's EK, and I believe these are made in France, and they seem to have a really good resale value. I did look these up while I was there to see if they were worth getting, um, so I did pick up that pair of tortoise shell ones, and then this is probably my favorite one. I love this, like, oversized, almost... I don't know. It's like a square kind of cat eye, and it is, again, that same brand, EK. And here are the other two pairs of sunglasses I got. They are very similar. They're by the same designer. And one pair is obviously blue and one's a lighter tortoise shell. And I just love that oversized style. So there is the designer. It is Sanford Hutton. So again, I'll do a little more research before I list, but okay, all done at the first house. I'm about to walk into the second sale. And this one did look like it had a ton of clothing. There was a bunch of closets, shoes, whatnot so we'll see the last one was really good there was some vintage designer but it was super expensive but I found a couple things that were my style that weren't crazy so yeah I'm gonna um, show you guys I might show you in between each sale so you'll either see the haul now from the last stuff or you'll see it all at the end <music>
just finished at that sale, but it was a bust. I think we were only in there for like 10 minutes. Um, sorry, someone's doing yard work, so it's a little bit loud. But yeah, I didn't see anything in there. They had some handbags, but they were fake, fake designer handbags, and then just some older clothing. So yeah, I didn't get anything, and that was sale number two. So now we're on to sale number three. Okay, just finished at the third sale and we struck out again. There was a ton of Supreme stuff and a lot of sneakers. It looked like a young guy had lived there, um, but there, it's just not my forte. I don't know anything about that stuff. It still seemed kind of expensive, so I don't know what the resale value on it is like and it's not really my customer, so I didn't get anything. Also, the house definitely had the bachelor smell to it, so it was a little interesting. My mom's over here cringing. Um, but yeah, that one we were in and out of pretty quick. Definitely didn't see anything, so now we're gonna go to sale number four. Okay, the next sale I got these three items. I actually got one more item for myself that I'll show you guys in a minute. But I know you're looking at this thinking, Jenna, you don't sell hard goods or home goods. And you're right, I don't. And I said in a recent q and I wasn't going to. However, I couldn't resist some stuff at the sale. And I was thinking about listing it in a separate Poshmark closet, but I've decided I'm gonna list this stuff just in my regular empty hanger closet because the type of home items I'm buying are things that I would put in my house if they like went with my decor and I think they would fit my like ideal customer. So first we'll start with the jewelry item, which is like something typical that I would pick up because I love cool, unique jewelry. And this is a copper cuff bracelet. I love cuffs. I just think they're such a great statement piece. And so there you can see a little bit more of the detailing and it's also got all of these designs on the side. It has the Thunderbird, which I really like that style and just a nice piece in excellent condition. So I grabbed that first out of the jewelry. Um, her clothing wasn't really my style. And then she had like a collection of old iron trivets on the wall like hanging and this one caught my eye because obviously it's very like 70s style it's got the love on it it's really nice quality you could definitely hang it as decor or just use it as a trivet like she did and it does have some markings and stuff on the back so i obviously don't know a lot about home goods i'll look this up but i'm really only picking up stuff that i like based on my style if i think it would go in my house or my customer's house so that's where my thoughts are going with home goods or hard goods but it won't be like an everyday occurrence for me and then the next item i picked up are these glasses and these are vintage they're by libby and that is a glass company so so there is an L on the bottom. I don't know if it will focus, but that's what they are. And they are called the California Scenes Glasses. And they have all these different scenes, obviously, from California. So that one's the Redwoods. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. Then we have the Palm Springs Oval Pool. This next one is the Santa Barbara Mission. 
whoops, gotta be careful with those. And then we have this one, which is um, Wilshire Boulevard. And then the final one is the Citrus Grows. So just a really cool collection of six. I could totally see this on a mid-century bar cart. And then let me grab the item I got for myself. Okay, here is what I picked up for myself. It's this really cool vintage blanket it's a wool blanket and it's got like the striped design and then all these beautiful designs in the middle i absolutely love the color combination and i'm thinking about hanging it actually somewhere in my house i'm not sure yet but i couldn't resist this i saw it, it was like folded up on the end of the bed and the colors caught my eye so i did grab this for me i almost forgot these two things from that sale so the first thing is this silk scarf with this cowboy print all over it definitely caught my eye and i think goes with the vibe of my closet turns out it is by sundance which is a pretty expensive like I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like free people grown up is what I like to say. It's a catalog brand, but they have stores too. So yeah, Sundance um, silk scarf, really pretty. And then the other thing I grabbed, which I guess technically is a home good. I'm not really sure what I would qualify this as, but it's a vintage camera strap and it's got all this embroidery on it. It also has these little holders for film, which I know film photography is getting popular again. But honestly, I grabbed it because I think it looks really cool. It definitely goes with my style. And you could even put this on a purse and use it as a purse strap, I feel like. So the only dilemma I have is I don't know if I should take it out of the packaging to like photograph and show or if people will be able to see what it is good enough because I don't know it's just cool that it's brand new it's from Sears and it's you know obviously vintage so yeah those are the two other things I almost forgot about I only grabbed one item it was a vintage t-shirt it's a vintage Atlanta Braves tee from the 90s um, the tomahawk chop and it's got all these old Braves players and they're almost like bobblehead caricatures I think it's so funny and my brother saw this and he actually used to have this shirt when he was little so he might be taking this from me if it doesn't sell first but it is a size extra large so just pick that up heading into our fifth or sixth sale I've kind of lost count um, still have only gotten stuff at the first sale actually I got a t-shirt at the last sale that's really cool a vintage Braves tee but this one was advertised as like a crafter seamstress I saw a lot of costume jewelry and we'll just see what they have so let's go inside the earrings I liked or the clip-ons that I saw in the pictures were a little bit expensive or the ones I liked they were like a specific designer who I can't remember the name of now but um, I passed because they were just too much for me to spend to sell and instead I picked up this one necklace which is a gold layered chain necklace I love gold chain stuff and it's got the coins on it also which is really popular kind of trendy right now it's just got like a little hook closure in the back so that's all I picked up there. I did look around the house, but I didn't really see anything else. Okay, going into my last sale now. This one was really far out, farther out than I thought. So hopefully it's worth it. Okay, and the last estate sale um, didn't have a huge selection. They did have a lot of like Western hats and boots and stuff, but it was pretty worn. And I did find these three belts, which I think are really cool. Now I will say, I didn't realize it when I was there, but when I got these home, they kind of have a, 
I don't know, like an older smell to them slash maybe a little bit of smoke. So I honestly might just take off the buckles and sell the buckles. If anyone watching has any tips to get the smell out of leather, let me know. I've had these sitting outside, but they still kind of smell. So these are the buckles though, which I think are really cool. And you could put these on a different belt obviously like a different strap so I love the lion head one it's like the door knocker so cool and then this one has a snake so I do really like the belt on this one I wish I could salvage it so again let me know if you know anything but I picked up these three belts belts are one of my favorite categories to sell so that's it for my estate sale day in my life shop with me I went to a lot of estate sales um, that's probably the most I've gone to in one day usually I go to maybe one or two but there just happened to be a lot and I went to as many as I could it was really fun you never know what you're gonna find so obviously I found a lot at that one house and not as much at the other houses and sometimes that's just the way it works out. I usually look online at estatesales.net just to find the sales around me. That's probably like my number one question. You can put in your zip code um, on estatesales.net and just look and see what's around you. Um, they do have pictures on there, but you never know, you know, what else is going to be there. They don't take pictures of everything, especially clothing, I feel like, because a lot of estate sales or people I feel like that shop at estate sales aren't necessarily looking at clothing. I don't see a ton of other clothing sellers there, so I usually have good luck with that. And then and obviously I like dabbled a little bit this time with home goods so I'm gonna test that out and put it in my closet I have no idea if it's gonna work it's obviously not something I'm gonna do like as in-depth as I do clothing but I just thought it would be fun because I love home decor I love decorating my house so I figured why not pick up a few things here and there that are really unique so yeah definitely be on the lookout for that my Poshmark closets always linked down in the description box if you want to check it out and please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you want to see more shop with me type of videos I know I've done a couple recently um, like thrifting with me I'm thinking about going to a flea market next week so maybe I can bring you guys along but let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below if you want to see videos like that thank you again so much for watching hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and I will see you in my next video bye